Hi. A very important aspect in architectural design is space lighting and ventilation. Of course, there is several code standards to speak about when it comes to lighting and ventilation requirements like ASHRAE, IBC, IPMC, etc. Some of which speak about the electromechanical lighting and ventilation requirements while others speak about the natural passive lighting and ventilation requirements. Of course, I'm a big advocate of the latter. Most of these standards require minimum of total uh, glazed area of all uh, windows for every habitable space to be around 8% um, of the floor area of such room and about 4% uh, percent total openable area of all windows of such room. Of course, there are other requirements and exceptions. I'm just stating the very general rules here. If you need more details on this, uh, you could check the International Property Maintenance Code, uh, Chapter 4. In almost every uh, design, uh, we deliver, we should include such information in room schedules, uh, including the minimum lighting and minimum uh, ventilation required by code standards and the actual provided lighting and uh, ventilation for every room. I noticed uh, there isn't a, an easy way of doing this in Revit, thanks to architect Sam Weeder. Uh, I, I, users have to, I noticed that users have to go through each room in the project and every window uh, to uh, read uh, data and information of those uh, rooms and those uh, windows and then uh, uh, write those da data to, to rooms before producing uh, schedules. Um, it takes considerable manpower and time uh, to do this. Uh, for this, I created an app that is, uh, that is able uh, to do that in less than a second. Uh, it's able to read the actual uh, glazed area and the actual openable area for all windows in every room in the project and write those data to schedules uh, automatically in less than a second with just a single uh, mouse click. Okay. Let's check it now. So uh, all of our needed data and information are now written uh, into rooms the minimum lighting required by code standards and minimum ventilation required and the provided uh, uh, glazed area and the provided uh, uh, openable area for all uh, uh, for all of the windows inside uh, each room. Uh, it's worth mentioning here um, that uh, it's worth mentioning here to differentiate uh, between uh, a window area and the glazed area of the window. And between the openable area of a window and the total uh, window area. The openable area of a window depends on many factors, like the method of uh, uh, operation of that window. Is it swinging? Is it sliding? Is it hung, like this one here? Um, is it fixed at all? The number of leaves. Uh, the dimensions of uh, frames, etc. My application uh, takes into consideration uh, all of those factors and many more to produce accurate results that you can depend on and gives you notes if some error in your design uh, uh, is present. Like if the window is fixed and it doesn't provide any ventilation, if the room doesn't have any windows, etc. And it creates and populates the schedule parameters for you. Uh, uh, what's remaining is just I have to just add those uh, uh, parameters to uh, our schedule. Just that easy.
So it gives you notes uh, uh, on any, any present errors uh, for every room, if there are any errors. And it gives you uh, uh, the data for the minimum light required by code standards, the minimum ventilation required, the provided uh, light through the glazed area of the window, the provided ventilation through the openable uh, uh, area of uh, that window. All of this in less than a second and uh, with just a single uh, mouse click. Uh, rather than having uh, to go through uh, each room and, and every window uh, to, to read this da data and write them back into uh, schedules. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you have any Revit development idea and would like to get it done, you can submit it to our Facebook page, uh, Architectx Design Studio, or uh, to my LinkedIn account. Thanks and uh, see you next time.